What's up everybody, 915 Mang here, doing a video today of my 180. I just got this tank, filling it up with water, and this is what we're uh, doing. The tank move itself went pretty smooth because I had a lot of help. I had uh, my brother-in-law help me out, pick up this tank. I had D here, help me out all afternoon. We uh, grabbed frags, you know, while he was grabbing frags, I was putting them in the tank. So it went really well. But you're going to want to follow along in this video because I am going to do the contest today. Uh, so just look out for little video hints and uh, drawing will be coming out soon. Moving along to the tank, uh, it was just a great big mess. I had frags all over the place. I had so many frags that uh, I even thought for a second that I had too many corals. One of my goals was to keep all of my fish alive. I did that. I didn't want to lose any corals. And I pretty much did that. So it went really good. Just a little bit of foggy cloudiness. One thing that I will tell you is I didn't have enough water to fill up the 180. But once I got all the fish and corals in there, I started turning up the flow. Um, I had my RWs up pretty good. And uh, that's a little bit why this water is so foggy. So it was a great week. And I picked up some uh, Guns N' Roses tickets. Also picked up this tank. I was able to move it got all the fish in there and the corals and it was great um so what we're going to do for the contest is i'm going to want to do a lyric you're going to write down a full sentence of a song it's going to be gnr song in the comments below um if you can go ahead and put it in order from the uh, person above you who commented and then you just follow along i ended up putting my leds up high i haven't hooked up the t5s yet but I did raise them up high. These is a Fulton 50 inch Reef Breeders uh, version 2. And uh, I had pit it up and surprisingly it covers the tank pretty well. Um, it was D's idea. And uh, I mean I, I still might go ahead and get some different lights later on. But I'm going to see how these ones run uh, for now. As you can see I don't even have my sump hooked up. But I can tell you look at all this space that I have underneath this tank. I'm using the same sump. And uh, it's going to work out great. The uh, bulkheads right there, I didn't want to use them. They're barb fittings. Uh, I did order some bulkheads but uh, with Amazon Prime, but they didn't come in until later on that afternoon. Another thing that I did, I set my tank off the wall quite a bit. And I got to tell you the truth, the wife wasn't too happy about that. Um, but she's starting to get used to it, so that's good for me. Um, I've just had a lot of room back here so I can... You know, store all kinds of stuff. And uh, ha I'm probably going to put like a shelf or whatever to kind of keep it clean. Cable management is not really my deal. I just want it nice and neat. Uh, but some of you guys go all out for the cable management. I had to make over 60 gallons of RODI water when it's colder outside and the temperature is about a little bit cooler. It takes a lot longer. Luckily for me, I have the dual membranes on my RODI and it uh, wasn't too bad. Also had enough bags of salt on hand, uh, so that wasn't too bad. The good thing is, I have uh, good buddies who would lend me some salt if I really needed some. So I'm going to go ahead and start off the lyric. I'm going to give you two sentences to the song for the contest. And all you have to do is write down a lyric uh, of the song on the comments below. The first sentence is, talk to me softly. There's something in your eyes. Now the problem is with the Aquion tank. Uh, it came with their own bulkheads, which was great. Like I said, I ordered some off of Amazon, but they didn't get here till later on in the day. And then they ended up being threaded. Uh, I wanted slip. Um, so what I used is uh, barb fittings. Um, and I got to tell you, these hoses were uh, pretty expensive. Hose are always expensive. That's why you got to give your hose these hose rings. Uh, if you don't know about that, then uh, ask somebody. In order to straighten out the hose, I used uh, hot water. I ran it underneath the sink for quite a while, and then I just uh, straightened it out. As you can see, it's a little bit kinked up from uh, the hardware store. But seriously, the hose are pretty expensive, and uh, what I ended up doing, I bought this straight tube. I cut it up a little bit and stuffed a one-inch pipe down there for the drains, and then I just secured it with the hose clamp um, because I didn't want to use their hose. Because I had bought a whole bunch of it hose, but it was like $5 a foot. And uh, I took it back to the store and got my money back because I didn't even use it. 
But as you can see, the plumbing is really, really simple. Teed off up to the three quarters return and then comes down one inch drain using regular PVC because it's a lot cheaper than the uh, regular hose. Another thing, my buddy Pelfrey gave me this. Uh, when I got the RW, he sent some of this stuff and uh, it's Velcro, it's really good. Secure the straps and all that piece of cake. Another thing that I want to tell you is that when I did my uh, protein skimmer, I cleaned it out. I took the opportunity, cleaned out my protein skimmer, scrubbed off all the film that was in it, wiped it out real good. And because of that, it's uh, cycling again. Uh, I have to get that film on there for my protein skimmer to start working again. Another great thing is this gate valve. I'm going to use this gate valve to silence the uh, drain a little bit. I'm not using a Herbie or anything like that. I'm just using a plain old simple gate valve. And I use this on my 120. Um, if you don't have another drain, like an emergency drain, then I highly do not recommend that you do something like that because you want to keep the one inch drain free at all times. But since I have two drains, I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust this and uh, just silence my tank. This is my tank with no gate valve. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the price. It's going to be a $40 gift certificate from Bulk Resupply. This contest is for subscribers only and no way did Bulk Resupply to provide me with the $40 gift certificate. It's all coming out of my pocket and it's just a way to say thank you uh, to all of you guys. And as you can see, there's a big difference there after adjusting the gate valve, it's a lot more quiet. I'm gonna stick the uh, cabinet doors on there next and then uh, skin up the tank stand and make it look good. Thanks for watching guys. Pay attention to the video. Like and subscribe and you guys take care. Have a good one guys.